Hello, I'm Mark. I'm Julie. And welcome to We're On The Move. Hello. Hello. And uh, what a crazy week it is. Very crazy. Crazy couple of months ahead of us. Yeah. Um, we should say welcome to We're Not On The Move. Yes. Um, because uh, as you are aware, um, like everybody else in the UK, we're on lockdown. So uh, that includes us. We were already isolating anyway because um, we're in the at-risk category because uh, Julie's got asthma, severe asthma, and I'm diabetic. So we were already self-isolating. So this is probably day six. It must be, yeah. Five, something like that. But so from... officially day one for everybody else in the UK. Yeah. Um, I've said to Julie that she should probably go outside, you know, not worry about it too much <laughs> because it's not coronavirus that's going to kill her. Um, it's going to be strangulation in the dead of night. Charming. Strangulation because we probably won't survive this. In fact, if you're watching this now, we're probably not here. <laughs> if, um, if anyone's been following us on Facebook and Twitter, you would have seen my post this morning where Marcus actually decided... He's going to sharpen all of the knives on the boat. And uh, I, I don't know, should I be worried? <laughs> well, you know, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you need sharp implements. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. We've been sat here and we are in lockdown, but the amount of people that are still walking around... Um, people setting up their, their deck chairs outside of our boat and... Having picnics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. The end of the world is here and people decide to go on a picnic. Yeah, everyone's um, told they're not allowed to go out and because of that, everyone's decided they're going out. I think what it is, it's a bit like when I was first told I was diabetic and people said to me, you can't really eat chocolate. I never really worried about chocolate until I was diabetic, and then the minute I said I can't eat chocolate, I wanted chocolate. Um, you were the same with heroin, weren't you? Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> she wasn't really. It was <laughs> it was cocaine. <laughs> it wasn't either that of those. Charming. Actually, um, that's charming. So it's the same thing, really. When someone says, you know, stay indoors, people go, yeah. "Well, I want to go out now." <laughs> yeah. That's so um, yeah, it's just um, it's just it's mad. I mean, even today, day one of lockdown. We've seen joggers, cyclists, old people walking. Um, it really is. Um, it's frightening, but yeah, I'm not sure that everybody is adhering to the rules. No, I mean, they're, they're saying that we are allowed to go out for, for a walk once a day, but it seems that everyone has decided they've all of a sudden got to go out for a walk. Yeah. Um, and they probably haven't been for a walk for, for months. <laughs> yeah, we, we, should put, we should put some praise out to the CRT who've allowed yeah. us to um, stay indefinitely. Yeah. Uh, they did because we were in the at-risk category, but also now they've put out a statement saying that on all non-essential boat movement is cancelled, so effectively people can stay. All I would say is if you're out there on a boat, please try and keep away from water points. Be near them, but don't block them because we're all going to need water points at some point. Yeah. To fill up our boats. So um, we've been told we everybody is now staying put and the only time that we can really move is to get water, uh, empty toilets and, um, and sort rubbish out. Yeah, yeah. Which is, um, yeah, it's going to make some interesting videos. It is. Um, this whole um, government policy is basically geared around trying to support the NHS because they know they haven't got the resources or the equipment. Um, on the equipment front as well, I've managed to um, source something that the NHS and other people could use. Uh, it's basically a sock. Um, it's one of Julie's old socks. I rummaged around at the bottom of the wash bin, or if you're American, the laundry basket. And um, this one she's worn, and it has to be a sock that she's worn because 
This will kill all known viruses, germs, bacteria. So all you have to do is put it on your nose and face like that, and it will literally keep me safe. Now, I am selling these at a knockdown <laughs> price. Um, I understand there are some websites where you can buy used undergarments. <laughs> Um, but I am selling these as a knockdown price for medical reasons. <laughs> they are forty two ninety nine per sock, and for the really smelly ones, um, they're going to be fifty five pounds. Um, if you'd like one, um, then drop us a line in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. Um, payment by bank transfer. So, but these are these Just do work. Just ignore him. These please. do work. Just ignore um, it. When things get really bad, I'm going to have to switch to other undergarments. <laughs> <laughs> but quite frankly, I'd rather die a coronavirus. I think. <laughs> <laughs> right, please ignore him completely. <laughs> Can't believe you just did that. What? Um. Right, so getting back on track. Serious uh, note. On a serious note, we're both self-employed. Mm. Um, I, as you know, I'm a writer. Well, you may not know, but I'm a writer, a freelance writter. And Julie obviously runs an online uh, watercolour school yeah. and um, art classes, physical art classes. Um, yeah. The government have helped PAYE. So for those of you not familiar with PAYE, it's basically employed people. They're being paid 80% of their wage up to a maximum of £2,500. But currently, if you're self-employed, you can claim sickness benefit up to the value of £94 a week. So if you were a self-employed person earning £30,000 a year, your income's just dropped to £4,800 a year. You can get something called universal credit, um, and that's it's not very much at all. For couples, it's about 500 isn't it? I think something? it's less than that. Is it? Um, but you can't get onto the website, you can't, you know, you... Excuse Eric over there snoring. You can get onto the website, but you can't actually verify who you are. I think you're in a queue at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I'm in a queue of 31,499 people. So I'm 31,450. Um, so uh, I've been queuing for two and a half hours now. It tells me that if I click off of their website, then I will lose my place in the queue. So currently, I'm probably going to get through that queue in maybe a week. I'm not kidding. I mean, 31,499 people um, in front of me. So It's going to take a long time. So, um, yeah, so all my in-person watercolour um, shows have had to stop. That is a, a huge loss because that is all of all of my business, really. Yeah, your income has basically dropped to zero. Um, the only ones that I've got now is my online watercolour class, and I'm really grateful and thankful that I've managed to build that up. And you know, I've got um, thank you for all our subscribers. I've got some lovely subscribers that have come over and joined me in the online watercolour school from the YouTube channel. From the YouTube channel, which yeah. has been absolutely amazing. So I'm really pleased that's only been going a couple of months. Um, it took me nearly a year to actually set up the website and, and do all of that. So, But we want to try and build it. And so, I need to build you know, it now. <laughs> we, are, we are shamelessly promoting it because yes. Julie's income has dropped to zero, effectively, right. on all other fronts. Yeah. Um, so if you do want to take art lessons and you want yeah. to see technique videos and it's step by step and it really is from beginner to experience, yeah. um, then go on over to uh, www.juliewearart.co.uk and click on um, join my watercolour, watercolour school. school. There's lots of information on there. I'm going to be painting lots of things, uh, lots of wildlife um, and flowers as well. Um, but if you'd like to take a free class, I've also got a free class option, and that's how to paint a fox. Yeah. And if you go over to my website um, and click how to uh, take a free class, you'll be able to do that one. Okay, we thought it would be fun uh, to post a challenge as well to all the people out there that are watching. Um, everybody, the, the entire world's in self-isolation, mm. I believe. So... Um, we thought it would be quite nice for you to take a photograph of the view from your window. That's whether you're on land, whether you're on a boat, um, and post them on our Facebook page. Uh, so if you take the picture and then go on over to We're On The Move uh, on Facebook um, and then post the picture there. Um, 
what I think what we'll do is if we post uh, a picture of our view and then in the comments below that if you post your pictures yeah um, and then we can see what's going on yeah and see what see what it is you've got to sit and look at for the next three weeks or 12 weeks depending on your yeah vulnerability category and, and whether that is um, a nice view or a, a horrible view it doesn't matter no um, or it might be a view of your desk that you you may be working from home and you you might want to do that instead um, it's entirely up to you but we'd just like to see you know where you are and what you're up to yeah exactly so we apologize for the lack of um, boating footage mm. we have got some to put in here just so that you can see the canals and all their glory but obviously as the weeks progress, it's going to be less and less boating footage. So um, there may be some more how-to videos, there might be some more um, instructional videos, mm -hmm. things like that. Just general diary, day-to-day -day life videos. Um, but if you've got any ideas of what you'd like to see in an upcoming video, then please pop it in the comments box below. Uh, and um, if we get lots of the same requests, then we might very well um, yeah. guide our... Um, output towards that so that we do something that you guys have specifically asked for we'll so see what we can do because obviously we can't we can only move the boat if we're going to get water yeah um, or rubbish, or rubbish else and, and yeah. the lose that yeah, type of thing that so um, I mean I can think of a, um, a good game you could play just to keep yourself occupied um, and it's back to the sock thing um, and we we play a game called hide the sock <laughs> It's not exactly hide the sock. No, it's the a... idea, the idea of this game <laughs> is that when you distract someone, so they're looking the other way or they're talking about something, when you walk past them, you've got to place the sock on their shoulder without, without them, them realising. That's that's stage one. That's where you get maximum <laughs> points. You get ten points for that. And the longer it stays on, the more points you get. You can get up to fifty points for that. Now. <laughs> The second way is getting points with hide the sock is if you can hide it around their person. So if they're sat in a chair, you might put your sock behind their cushion. That again is a good way of getting points. So only five points for that. And finally, if you can put one under a pillow when you go to bed, if it's still there in the morning, you get another 50 points. <laughs> it's just a simple game. Everybody's got a sock. Actually, you're all going to have socks because by the time you order in your thousands, Julie's stinky socks to battle coronavirus, you'll all have a sock. I'm glad you sharpened the knives today. Yeah. They may come in useful. I suspect I'll be, I'll be getting a lot of stick for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me right okay so um it's a bit of a short video yeah it's um, a strange video it is um i'll uh, we'll sign off now i will include some footage of the canals just so that you can have a look um and we'd like to say hello to narrowboat abe yes um he's not very far away from us no but we can't go and visit them no which is horrible <laughs> um, but um, she very kindly helped us with um, a lock when we moved before we were in lockdown yeah. uh, to go and get water. So um, they're only about th two boats away from us. So yeah. hello to you. To the lock just behind me and just moored up to take on some water. We've got a water point here.
And we will end on the beautiful sunset that Mark filmed the other day. Yes. Uh, from outside the boat where we are. We will indeed. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, and when you do subscribe, click the little bell icon and YouTube will send you notifications every time we put out a video. Um, and any comments that you have, we'd love to hear your comments. Um, and also, if you want to order one of those socks, uh, remember, um, socks save lives. <laughs> Don't forget to show us your photo on our Facebook page, We're On The Move. Yes. See you next week. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.